In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we find a model of love, a model of service and unity. So let us prepare to celebrate this liturgy by opening our hearts to grow in the holiness to which we all have been called. Lord Jesus, you call us to grow in wisdom and grace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you show us the way to holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, Take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten firmly planted against the depth of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, Take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. He rose, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in the place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, he departed for the region of Galilee. He went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarene. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The Feast of the Holy Family that we celebrate this weekend is a feast that kind of goes in progression because it begins, really, the Holy Family begins with the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one, that unity of persons in one God, a community. So even our God begins not just one, but three in one, the mystery we can't comprehend. So we could say really that the first holy family would be the Trinity. And then the next holy family we celebrate is Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Obviously, in this gospel today, we hear more about Joseph. 
And it's probably the few times that we're going to hear about him. But we see that as the leader of this household, Joseph is such an, uh, an amazing man of belief, faith, a man of prayer, a man who really trusted in God. I don't know about you, but if I had a dream and an angel came and spoke to me in the dream, I'd question myself. <laughs> but Joseph, because of his deep faith, because of his deep trust in God, he not only listened, but acted upon that. And so he gives us the model of, of what a holy family does. A whole, holy family listens to the Lord God and a holy family acts on the promptings of the Lord. And if we want to know what it means then to be a holy family, we can go to the second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. To be a holy family, we must put on heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another, forgiving one another. Because as the Lord has forgiven us, so we must also do. And then he says, over all these things, put on love. That is the bond of perfection. So that's our recipe, if you will, to be a holy family. In whatever way our families are designed, in, in whatever way we find ourselves, and, and here in Las Vegas, we have a lot of people who come from different parts of the, of the nation and, and the entire world. And sometimes they, they are away from family, and they find new family here. And that's the same with myself. I'm from Joliet, Illinois. I have my family there. I have great friends in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Rockford, Illinois, Peoria, Illinois, Detroit, Michigan. And then I come here, and God's given me other people to be a part of my holy family, or that I become a part of their holy family. So as long as we're people who strive then to, to, to put on those, uh, uh, those, those virtues, as St. Paul said, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another, forgiving one another, and to put on love, which is the bond of perfection. When we practice those things in our lives, we know that we're growing into more being a, 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 an image of the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and the image of the holy family a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Remember, as John tells us, God is love. And those who live in love live in God and God in them. And when we do that, we are members of God's holy family. Amen. Together we profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The God who forms us into a family surely hears our prayers that we may grow in holiness. For our Holy Father, head of the family that is the body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for peace in our families, forgiveness of grievances, and harmony of leadership roles so that our nation and every nation may be built up in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in crisis, for families in mourning, for families estranged and separated, 
that Christ may be present to them in loving support of neighbors and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have died, that they may rest in peace and intercede for their beloved families with their prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the vulnerable and marginalized, wherever there is suffering, you are present. Hear our prayers that we might bring your healing and love to the broken places within our families, our communities, and throughout the world. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels and saints, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, George Leo, our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May our loving God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.